Sorry? A two tickets, please. <laughs> Welcome to a busy ferry terminal down here in Cebu City. This is about a 45 minute drive from our hotel. We're here at the ferry terminal quite early this morning because we're catching the ferry to Bahol to spend the day on another island, give ourselves a bit of variety. <laughs> I don't like boats. All right, we're just queuing up to get on board the ferry now. A couple of things to note. Give yourself enough time to get down here to the ferry terminal. It took us about 45 minutes from Mactan, even early in the morning when there's supposed, supposedly not a lot of traffic, but it still took a long time. So give yourself time. Secondly, it's cash only at the ticket office. So you're going to need, we're paying, it's a thousand Filipino peso per person each way, so 4,000 peso in total for the return trip to Bohol. The reason is because they didn't have, it's holiday period here, so there's not a lot of space on the ferry, so we could only book what they call the business class, which um, I think is a separate section. We'll have a look at that in a second. But normally it's 500 pesos per person each way. Oops. Sorry, we're just about to get run over. Next up, there is a terminal fee you'll need to pay. That's $25 per person. So once you come through the main entrance, you'll see the terminal fee on the right hand side. You need to pay that. You get a little orange ticket. And then you go through a security channel. Um, it branches you off, males on the left, females on the right, as you would have seen. Just like an airport security scanner, you go through that. And then before you get into the terminal gate itself, you still need to do one more thing. And that's you need to go to the check-in desk. And that's where, depending on whereabouts on the boat you're traveling, they'll give you an assigned seat or they'll just check in your bags if you've got bags to check in as well. We don't, so I don't know how much it is to check in additional bags, so check beforehand. But otherwise, it's a two hour trip out to Bohol, so we're going to enjoy the very cold air conditioning and play solitaire. <laughs> Behold, behold. Oh, that's what that says. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No, I understand. I'm sorry, but we only have 3,000. That's all we have. It's okay, sir. It's okay, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. So our first stop today, this is the Tazia Sanctuary, uh, just in a place called Corella. It's only about 15 minutes out. Uh, 15 minute drive from when you get down to the ferry port to here but the thing we have to be very conscious of and very respectful of is the Tarsiers. They're these tiny creatures that live here in Bohol. They're very very timid and you can't make any noise around them. You can't do flash photography so I'm just going to go in there with the camera and see if I can get some shots of them but we don't want to get too close because they're very timid animals and that's why there's lots of signs like this around saying turn off your phones and make sure you're quiet but if you are down here in Bohol well worth having a look because they're amazing creatures. Amazing. They're like little aliens.
it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, so that clearly means we can't fly the drone here. Shame, because look at this. So these then, and this is the Chocolate Hills area, it's about a 45 to 50 minute drive from where we were at the Tazir Sanctuary to get to this point. When you're visiting the Chocolate Hills, there, there are two places your driver might drop you off. So a word of caution, one is there's a like an ATV, or all-terrain vehicle or quad bike riding area. Um, you can go there if you want and then you can ride quad bikes around the area, kind of do a bit of a self-guided tour. But if you don't have long, like us, we've only got about an hour here, ask your driver to bring you to the observation point, which is this, which has got a little cafe, there's a few shops around here as well. And you get a pretty decent view over the hills and, and the ranges from here without having to go through the additional expense and time of hiring one of those quad bikes. Saying all that, it's a bit of a lousy day today, unfortunately. You can probably see behind me the, um, the clouds are pretty low. Um, not a good day for any aerial flying over the top of the Chocolate Hills. They quite often do helicopter scenics over here, but there's none happening today. And we keep getting these rain showers coming through as well. But look, apart from the weather, it's a, it's a pretty beautiful view. And if you are coming to Bohol, well worth a visit coming up here to the Chocolate Hills. Yeah. There's a little cafe at the top here as well at the Chocolate Hills where you can order some food if you want to have a quick snack. It's a pretty good place to get a bite to eat. This is my grilled cheese sandwich. Which is literally exactly as the description goes. It is just sandwich and grilled cheese and um, my salad garnish. <laughs> it tastes pretty good. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So there's one, two, three thousand, yeah. Yeah. and five hundred for you as well. Okay, so. no problem. So thank, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. See you next time. See you next time. Take care. Thank Bye. You. All right, back at the ferry terminal. Our driver was brilliant. Um, all you do if you want to pick up one of those van rentals is, we came out, we asked a couple of people how much they'd charge. They normally give you a set price for a certain number of hours. For us, it was three thousand Filipino peso for four hours. About 10 minutes into the trip, you might have seen earlier on, our driver said to us that, oh, his boss has called and it's actually gonna be 4,000 pesos because we took the van, not the car. I've heard that's quite a common thing to happen, so don't worry if your driver does that to you. But set a price, make sure you agree to a price first of all, and then, you know, try and get your driver to stick to that. But he was really nice to us and he was a really good guy and he stopped when we needed to stop and he took us in town when we needed money. So I don't know if it's customary to give a tip, but we gave him a tip as well, just to say thank you. But we're back at the terminal now, gonna hop back on the ferry and uh, head back to Cebu. There's holidays here in um, the Philippines at the moment and everyone's trying to get from Bohol to Cebu just like we are. So the ferry's delayed about 20, 25 minutes at the moment. But at least they put some music on for us. Bye Bohol. Thoughts on Bohol? No, it's not there. It's cute. I love seeing the little Tarsiers. Tarsiers were probably the highlight for me as well. So cute. They were cute. Big trip though. Yeah, it's quite a lot to do in a day trip. Actually, it's quite a lot of travelling. You're up early, but worth it. Yeah.